Welcome to The Helping Hand. My name is Bill Moriarty and I'm a volunteer at the In a Pinch Non-Food Pantry in Biddeford. Uh, this show is going to be a show on some city resources um, throughout the city and York County. Uh, today we have the Communications Director for the York County Community Action and I'd like to welcome Brad Bohan. Uh, Brad, uh, to start with, I'd actually like to um, start with what the York County Community Action is sure. and what they do. Yep. York County Community Action is one of uh, 11 community action agencies in the state of Maine. We're covering all of York County, which is about 1,000 square miles. And uh, some of our major towns would be uh, Saco and Biddeford and Kittery. Um, we have a variety of services that address the needs of persons living in poverty and homeless people. And we've been around since about 1965. Um, the programs include WIC, which most people know about, Women, Infants, and Children, Head Start program, which was yeah. started uh, again in 1965. We have a transportation program that's uh, very, very large. It, it covers the, all the miles in York County. We have, uh, and I'll talk uh, more in depth about the different programs within these programs uh, later on. We have a housing program. We have an energy services program, which includes LIHEAP which has been very active in the past year or two, you can imagine. Uh, community outreach and York County Community Health Care, which is our health care program. Excellent. Um, now, uh, the programs, there are some smaller programs, like offshoots, um, like I was reading on the website. Yep. There were, um, uh, by the way, uh, York County Community Action's website is www.yccac.org. Um, very informative. Uh, but I was reading on there that there are th uh, things like... Um, uh, things for fathers. Absolutely. You know, uh, fathers, you know, could you explain a little yep, bit? Yeah, sure. That? Each program has within it a sub-program or smaller programs, and uh, the fatherhood program is a good example. That's in the Head Start. It's uh, The Head Start is, say, the umbrella. Uh, it's called the Strong Fathers Network, and it is a five-year grant that we received about two and a half years ago to address the needs that young fathers, not necessarily young fathers, but fathers or father figures may have with uh, the everyday interaction with their children. Uh, the way we may have been raised back in the 60s and early 70s uh, gives us some insight into how we should address needs that fathers now are having to, to deal with with their children. We, we understand more about um, uh, the problems with violence or domestic violence, problems with uh, just tone, just language, just uh, the very critical importance of a father in the life of his children. So that's one of the programs within Head Start. Um, community Outreach is a, a good example of another program that has a lot of programs within it. it has access to justice, which is a, a legal services program. Essentially, it's an inf information program. Uh, persons who are not allowed or who don't have the means to hire attorneys for their uh, whatever the case may be. Uh, generally, they're they're civil cases. We don't address any criminal cases at all, is to give them information about what to look, what's going to happen in any kind of procedure. Maybe it's uh, filling out forms or understanding the vernacular of the law, the language that comes with law. Um, community Outreach also has programs like York County Saves, which is a program that uh, works individually and in groups with people on uh, saving a portion of their income to as an investment. Uh, Sometimes that sounds like an easy thing, but it's very, very difficult. Uh, one of our, our York County Cash Campaign talks about if you can save, I think, $2.74 a day at the end of the year, you've got $1,000. Well, it's just those sorts of things that we do. Yeah. Um, I like to think of our agency as both proactive and reactive. We, we try to get ahead of the need. We try to look into the future, what's going to happen and where the need's going to be. And to have programs already set up, to address those kinds of issues. Um, one example may be our foreclosure prevention workshop that was on the housing program. Yeah, I read about that. Yeah, we started that last summer, and essentially what we knew was going to happen, and what happened, a lot of homes would be foreclosed, a lot of families would find themselves with no place to, to go. So we started these programs. They, they uh, began, I believe, last summer, and we, we actually took them up to Augusta and to Bangor as well, but for the past two months we've been holding them weekly in Sanford and the purpose of that is simply to talk with families and to, to 
give them any options that may be available to them to keep their homes? Um, I'm glad you brought that up um, because uh, one of the reasons why I invited you uh, here for today's show was um, because as a volunteer at my pantry, we've seen an increase in people um, just you know streaming through that have that have either lost their jobs, lost their homes, um, and you know, and and I know that York County Community Action does a lot for our community. Mm -hmm. um, um, one of the other things I want to talk about uh, was some of the programs that you have, um, like a uh, health services program, mm -hmm. and and that involves medical and dental. Mm -hmm. Um, you have uh, children's services, like you had mentioned, Head Start, um, community outreach, and transportation, and WIC. Yeah. Um, could you explain a little more um, for people at home who, who um, may be in need of some health services, sure. um, medical services? Yep. York County Community Health Care is our health care facility. There's actually two facilities. There's one main facility, which is at 32 Patriot Lane in Sanford, and it's uh, almost brand new. It opened about a year and a half ago. We, we actually have had this health care program for about three years. We started, uh, we had a little clinic within our facility in, in uh, Sanford at our, our, our main location. The need was so great, we were able to open a, a, a new building, and it uh, does house medical, mental health, and dental facilities. We have uh, mental health clinicians, which is a very, very large need out there. It's, uh, uh, we have, uh, I think, six new dental chairs that are relatively new within a year. We have um, a dentist. We have um, dental clinicians. We also have, uh, we don't have a, we, we have access to a physician. We have an on-call doctor. We have uh, licensed clinical uh, medical personnel who work with uh, people who need immunizations or, yeah. or um, medical checkups, things like that. We also serve the uh, clients who live at York County Shelter, so that's part of our constituency. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we have, again, a smaller clinic that serves mostly a, a housing unit in Sanford, and it was opened just about a year ago, and it, too, serves for medical, mental, and, and dental care. And how would, um, how would somebody, if they did need dental care, if they did need medical care, how would the process work? What I would recommend is to call our, our health care program. Uh, you can find all this information on our website. I, I would refer people back to our website again and again because... All of the programs are listed there and all of the phone numbers, and you can find the different criteria for uh, access to these programs. There are so many programs, and each of the, virtually each program has its separate criteria for um, access and for services. But so if you need dental care and you are interested in, in uh, um, calling us and, and, and uh, arranging for a meeting, I would do that. I would call our health care program. Okay. And they could come into any, any um Yeah, they would need location. to set up an appointment. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. 